Hey everyone, today is March 5th, 2021, and today in our Everyday Bible we will read Leviticus chapter 26, Mark chapter 10, Psalm 60, and Proverbs 11.20. Alright, let's jump into Leviticus 26. You shall not make idols for yourselves, or erect an image or a pillar, and you shall not set up a figured stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths and, re and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If you walk in my statutes and observe my commandments and do them, then I will give you your rains in their season, and the land shall yield its increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall last to the time of the grape harvest, and the grape harvest shall last to the time of, the so of sowing, for sowing. And you shall eat the bread to the full and dwell in your land securely. I will give peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will remove harmful beasts from the land, and the Lord, so, uh, excuse me, and the sword shall not go through your land. You shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. Five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall chase ten thousand of your enemies, uh, excuse me, and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. I will turn to you and make you fruitful and multiply you and will confirm my covenant with you. You shall eat old store long kept and you shall clear out the old to make way for the new. I will make my dwelling among you and my soul shall not abhor it. And I will walk among you and will be your God and you shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that you shall not be their slaves. And I have broken the bars of your yoke and made you walk erect. But if you will not listen to me and will not do all these commandments, if you spurn my statutes and if your soul abhors my rules, so that you will not do all my commandments, but break my covenant, then I will do this to you. I will visit you with panic, with wasting disease and fever that consumes the eyes, and makes the heart ache. And you shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. I will set my face against you, and you shall be struck down before your enemies. Those who hate you shall rule over you, and you shall flee when none pursues you. And if in spite of this you will not listen to me, then I will discipline you sevenfold for your sins, and I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heavens like iron and your earth like bronze. And your strength shall be spent in vain, for your land shall not yield its increase, and the trees of the land shall not yield their fruit. Then if, you, then if you walk contrary to me and will not listen to me, I will continue striking you sevenfold for your sins, and I will let loose wild beasts against you, which shall bereave you of your children and destroy your livestock and make you few in number, so that your roads shall be deserted. And if by... This discipline, you are not turned to me, but walk contrary to me. Then I also will walk contrary to you, and I myself will strike you sevenfold for your sins. And I will bring a sword upon you that shall execute vengeance for the covenant. And if you gather within your cities, I will send pestilence among you, and you shall be delivered into the land of the enemy. When I break your supply of bread, ten women shall bake your bread in a single oven, and I shall and I shall dole out your bread again by weight, and you shall eat and not be satisfied. But if in spite of this you will not listen to me, but walk contrary to me, then I will walk contrary to you in fury, and I myself will discipline you sevenfold for your sins. You shall eat the flesh of your sons, you shall eat the flesh of your daughters, and I will destroy your high places and cut down your incense altars and cast your dead bodies upon dead bodies, upon the dead bodies of your idols." and my soul will abhor you. And I will lay your cities waste and will make your sanctuaries desolate. And I will not smell your present pleasant aromas. And I myself will devastate the land so that your enemies who settle in it shall be appalled at it. And I will scatter you among the nations and I will unsheath the sword after you. And your land shall be a desolation and your cities shall be a waste." Then the Lord, excuse me, then the land shall enjoy its Sabbath as long as it lies desolate while you are in your enemy's land. 
Then the land shall rest and enjoy its Sabbaths. As long as it lies desolate, it shall have rest, the rest that it did not have on your Sabbaths when you were dwelling in it. And as for those who, you, who are left, I will send faintness into their hearts, into the land of the enemies, in the, in the lands of their enemies. The sound of a driven leaf shall put them to flight. And they shall flee as one who flees from the sword, and they shall fall when none pursues them. <clears throat> they shall stumble over one another as if to escape a sword, though none pursues. And you shall have no power to stand before your enemies, and you shall perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And those of you who are left shall rot away in your enemies' lands because of their iniquity, and also because of the iniquities of their fathers, they shall rot away like them. But if they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers in their treachery that they committed against me, and also in walking contrary to me, so that I walked contrary to them and brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised heart is humbled and they make amends for their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, and I will remember my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham, and I will remember the land. But the land shall be abandoned by them and enjoy its Sabbaths while it lies desolate without them, and they shall make amends for their iniquity because they spurned my rules and their soul abhorred my statutes. Yet for all that, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not spurn them, neither will I abhor them so as to destroy them utterly and break my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God. But I will for their sake remember the covenant with their forefathers, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the nations, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the statutes and the rules and laws that the Lord made between him, between himself and and the people of Israel through Moses on Mount Sinai. Mark chapter 10. And he left there and went to the region of Judea and beyond, beyond the Jordan. And crowds gathered to him again. And again, he was <clears throat> as was his custom, he taught them. And Pharisees came up, and in order to test, them, he asked, to test him, he, they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, what did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and send her, and to send her away. And Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh, so that they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. And in the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. And he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for such things, for to such belong the kingdom of heaven. Excuse me. Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. And as he was setting out, on his journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, all of these I have kept from my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, you lack one thing. Go sell all that you have and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Disheartened by the saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How difficult it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were amazed at his words, but Jesus said to them again, Children, how difficult it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person 
to enter the kingdom of God. And they were exceedingly astonished and said to him, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man it is impossible, but not with God. For all things are possible, are possible with God. Peter began to say to him, See, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is none who has left his house, has left house or brother or sister or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel. Excuse me, for the gospel, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. And they were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. And they were amazed, and those who were followed, and the, and those who followed were afraid. And taking the twelve again, he began to tell them what he what was what was to happen to him, saying, "See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him over to the Gentiles, and they will mock him and spit on him and flog him and kill him, and after three days he will rise." And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him and said, "Teacher, we want you to do for us. We want you." to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one at your right hand and, the, and one at your left, in your glory. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, or to be baptized with the baptism which, with which I am baptized? And they said to him, We are able. And Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink. And with the baptism which, with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or my left hand is not mine to grant. But it is for those. But it is for those, for whom it has been prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be indignant at James and John. And James called to him, called them to him, and said to, to them, "Excuse me, let's go back." And Jesus called them to him and said to them. You know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great, you must be a great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. And they came to Jericho. And as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples, a great crowd, and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a, <coughs> let's start over. And they came to Jericho. And as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, and the son of Timaeus was sitting at the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on his way. Psalm 60. To the choir master, according to Shushan, he doth a mictum of David, for instruction when he strove with Aram Naharim, Naharim and with Aram Zobah, when Joab on his return struck down 12,000 of Edom in the Valley of Salt. O oh God, you have rejected us, broken our defenses. You have been angry. Oh, restore us. You have made the land quake, and you have torn it open. Repair its breaches, for it totters. You have made your people see hard things, and you have given us wine to drink, though it makes us stagger, made us stagger. You have set up a banner for those who fear you, 
that they may flee to it from the bow, from the bow. That your beloved ones may be delivered, give salvation by your right hand and answer us. God has spoken in his holiness with exultation. I, do, I divide up Shechem and portion out the veil of Succoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah is my scepter. Moab is my wash basin. Upon Edom I cast my shoe. Over Philistia I shout in tri triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? You do not go forth, O God, with our armies. O grant us help against the foe, for vain is the salvation of man. With God we shall do, we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. Proverbs eleven twenty. Those of crooked heart are an abomination to the Lord, but those of blameless ways are his delight. Hmm. All right, well, tomorrow is March 6th, 2021, and we will read Leviticus 27, Mark 11, Psalm 61, and Proverbs 11, 21. Looking forward to that. Cool. Thank you all for listening tonight. I hope this is a blessing to you, and I hope you are continuing to read the scriptures on your own as well. Have a great night.